Chin Chin again, your P9 nurse in the UK, and I'm vlogging once more. Um, I said to you in my last video when I cooked my carbonara um, that I'm going to be showing also the common condiments that we have and we have as a Filipino British home or household. Um, this holds dearly. This video is going to be, I don't know, it's just going to be a very random and very uh, laid-back kind of vid video uh, um, <coughs> I'm sorry if there are informations that you're not in agreement with say for example for the you know the kind of 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 herbs and spices and how it is used well this is how I do it and this is how we use it so just sit back and relax and enjoy <laughs> guys to this corner i'm not gonna show the rest of my kitchen um just the usual part of it that um uh, where all my condiments are and some of the household um staples that i have um from this side on that corner of course is our cereal doesn't matter what cereal we don't eat cereal for breakfast usually it's either a bread or a bread, rice, or dried fish, hot dogs, ham. It's always paired up with rice, or sometimes it's pan de sal and coffee, or any hot drink or sandwich in the morning. Some people don't eat breakfast, but here my I, my fiance eats either cereal or um, bread or toast or jam, uh, hot coffee, hot tea. Tea is a staple, of course, in a British home. Uh, flour, of course, for everything to like s for th sauce thickeners and uh, bread or cake because I usually cook banana bread and cupcakes. Rice, a Filipino or an Asian household will not be complete without rice unless you're on a keto diet, which I am not on at the moment but i tried it one time it's quite difficult but i might have to go back in there go back and try it again so i run out of one of the condiments in there that's my beef cube so i have to go downstairs and get some more and chicken cubes a filipino or an asian um household needs to have a lot of condiments and and i also got another cereal in here which is my favorite bran flakes and dried fruits and very important mortar and pestle for grinding those herbs and spices panko panko is basically breadcrumbs panko bread uh, no this is not panko this is actually is it panko but it's just a basic breadcrumbs um, I love cooking katsu curry, either chicken, yeah, chicken katsu curry, and I use panko for breading. Now, if you're gonna open my cupboard, you can see it's all, it's full because I love condiments so much. Um, and that uh, any cuisine or any cooking or any dish will not be complete unless I have the right condiments and I'm so obsessed with buying new ones and discovering new ones so let's start from the top um, that is basically just pasta glutinous rice which I'm running out in a Filipino or an Asian household also glutinous rice because we make desserts out of it that one is a um, what is that one wow the label came off the label came off um, that's basically a Jamaican it's a Caribbean um, general seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, I would say, not general, all-purpose seasoning, gravy for um, sauces for uh, Sunday roast or other, you know, if you have like a, a dry food, then you can add gravy on it. Um, chicken, that's a chicken mix, uh, fry mix. Um, I love fried chicken and also I use that for frying my chicken bread in it and another one that I've got is garlic flakes this is a 
a fried garlic i think this is from i don't know i'm not really sure but i'm quite sure it's from one of the neighboring countries of the philippines from asian from an asian store i just love garlic flakes you can put in a lot of as soon as i run out of this or it's almost halfway i go to the filipino shop or a asian store to get more um here on top new so i've got as i mentioned i've got original chicken fry mix for my chicken and at the back is my garlic fried garlic because i love cooking for uh, garlic fries that's a staple in the philippines and then you eat it with something that is barbecued oh my god that's amazing um on this side i will show chicken i cook um korean japanese italian whatever fan whatever food i fancy i try to learn how to cook it um right at the back there's jalapenos which i of course for american food like um, sausage hot dogs burgers and bagoong is one of ours or uh, one of the filipino condiments it's a sauteed shrimp paste that i use for stew clear honey i use it for everything basically for just making because sometimes you don't want to use brown sugar you just want to use a little bit of honey honey that it's not too sweet korma spice paste if i want my korma and i want it to taste good <laughs> sorry i don't i don't really and i find it difficult to look for the right amount and right ingredients for curries indian curry so sometimes i just use the easy ones that i can buy from the store and then just add a little bit more of spices sun-dried tomatoes um, and for antipasties and for, for pastas as well you got pickles silver skin onions which is basically for peeking in peeking out and for snacks for snacks or some British foods as well um, I think that's it isn't it oh I want to show you my miso paste that I use for soups ramen noodles i also got what do i have in here oyster sauce it's also a staple in any asian household um lemon juice that's important as well uh huh. i've got clear honey or not clear honey it's a golden syrup it's basically a melted sugar that I use for our cuisine if I want my food to taste a little bit sweet but I don't want sh like a raw sugar in it or a granulated sugar that's what I use and on this on this part hmm, I've got white pepper and black pepper always always um, all-purpose savory seasoning if I want to marinate or just want to make any food taste a little bit better also mustard seed mustard mustard powder um if i want to uh add good flavor to one of my mexican dishes la chinata it's a pimenton de la vera it's a smoked paprika powder and of course <laughs> this one which is another yeah god it nearly fell in there um, I've got my bay leaves that didn't fit on my I've got my turmeric that's very important for like Indian dish or mixed spice for Chinese dishes like if I want to make some roast pork um, cardamom pods for you like biryani and Indian food this is achuete which is just to add color when I cook my what do you call that palabo or um, in a sal or grilled chicken then that serves us like um, just to add color to the meat chilies of course oh, another what is this oh yeah hot chili powder that's a need as well and of course I also use fresh chilies cayenne pa paper <laughs> cayenne pepper um, cinnamon celery salts if I want I use this for rubs for porks pork and other um, meat onion granules as well if I'm not in the mood to chop or for dry rubs as well 
And then let's put it back. So these are my condiments. There you go. Let's put it back in there. Um, what else do I need to show you guys? Let's, hmm. Yes. Sir. And at the back is my salt. Salt, salt. Mild curry powder. I've got my all-purpose seasoning in there. I'm obsessed with labeling, guys. So, if you will notice, I've got this old garlic flakes as well. Got, <laughs> I don't know why I labeled it, but I just love labeling it. I found this one on Amazon, and I just fell so in love with it. And this one, this plastic thing, it's a, it's not like a con it's like a container that is kind of it's like a how do you call that? kind of elevated in a sense you know what I mean um, so that I can see everything and I don't have to grab from the back so I can see and I just grab grab it and it's, it's easier for me so you got all the bay leaves in there bay leaves I use it for my adobo um, adobo is basically an influence from from it's a Mexican or a Spanish influence it's just a way of cooking of it's just marinating so you can cook adobo with meat, uh, with meat like such as pork, pork, fish, uh, chicken, yeah, and then marinate it in soy sauce and vinegar. Um, in my family, our recipe is that we add sugar in it or we add pineapple juice to make it really nice and tasty. Um, I've got cayenne in here as well, cumin, thyme for my italian dish uh onion powder garlic garlic granules if i want dry rub parsley of course nutmeg if i want my uh, my lasagna oregano thyme and it's five spices in there but i think i accidentally put garlic flakes in there as well I've got vinegar in here, cooking oil, vinegar, soy sauce at the back. Our vinegar, this is a Fili Filipino vinegar. As you can see, it's not clear. It's kind of opaque. I've got virgin oil at the back for my salads. I've got fish sauce in here that is running out. Um, yeah, fish sauce. Oh, by the way, I've got another big bottle of oyster sauce because I use it for like chow mains noodles vermicelli you know asian noodles dot the petite vinegar this is a brown that i i usually get from an asian store it's a cane vinegar and water on this side so i've got this um what do you call this thing again this is a rotating thing i forgot the name is it is it mary oh god please i can't remember anymore but Oh, Lazy Jane. Lazy Susan. <laughs> Lazy Susan. That's what. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right. So here I've got a lime juice. So lime juice is very important. It's like a lemon juice, but it's smaller. So we. this is from the Philippines. Yeah. This one is hot chili sauce. I'm just going to put it down so you can see the ones in the middle. I've got my raspberry vinaigrette vinaigrette it's uh, for my salads because i love beetroot and feta salads lemon juice again i love losing using lemon juice for everything um sometimes i use the fresh one as well but if i don't have the time who's got the time right i've also got pure sesame oil this is usually or most commonly used in korean cuisine i use it for my marinades le worcestershire sauce of course, when I use for steaks, balsamic vinegar for my salad. This is uh, on this side. This is the chili sauce, Chinese chili sauce, um, uh, balsamic vinegar. Uh, this is a uh, mang tamas, which I is an all-purpose sauce that's made from liver, from liver and um, soy sugar added to it and other seasoning and i use it for uh, crispy pork or yeah anything that's crispy crispy pork or barbecued stuff 
Mirin also is for marinade for uh, it's a Japanese um, ingredient for marinades and sauces. Um, hoisin sauce is it's a Chinese um, sauce as well that we use for a lot of stir fries. Yeah, so let me put it back in there because it's it's confusing me now. <laughs> right. So let's come up here. Maggi, it's basic in all purpose seasoning. It's uh, like soy sauce, but much better. It's a hybrid of a soy sauce and seasoning, other seasoning. Um, fish sauce, it's a, uh, yeah, it's quite common in Thai, Thai or Vietnamese dishes, uh, cuisine or dishes, uh, but it works for Filipino dishes as well. Um, what else? You got your, um, did I, I already mentioned the Worcestershire sauce. Let's put this back now. Um, yeah, your Cholula hot sauce. Your sesame seed, sesame oil. Chaoxing, Chaoxing rice wine. I use it for, um, what do I use it for? Um, also marinades and sauces. Um, li uh, liquid seasoning as well I use this as well um, uh, it's just basically a seasoning but it has lemon in it but that's a uh, that's also good for cooking some Filipino dishes um, that's it lemon this one is I already mentioned that balsamic vinegar marine is a Japanese one Teriyaki, it's a Japanese one as well. I use it for marinating meat or barbecue, hoisin, hoisin, hoisin. Um, of course, our lemon juice. And another, my fish sauce I'm running out of as well. So yeah, these are the condiments that I use. Um, I'm thinking of expanding more and using more condiments or using more ingredients that is um, not only limited to Asian and Italian or you know I'll probably explore more and see how it goes thank you and hope you enjoyed this video Bakit tingin mo liligawan ka ng mga karne? Tingin mo sisipulan ka ng mga isda? Kung ganyan itsura mo, wag ka nalang...